I did not choose Talia Mahalo and welcome all blessed Brava babies on this perfect Friday afternoon here in Hawaii where we're six hours behind on my little New Yorkers. Today's transmutation is entitled Soft Focus. Definitions, edges, the line between you and I is by definition a violent act. Cookie cuttering out yourself from the playing field, my darlings. To love is to allow the filter between you and I and all things to be permeable. To let water flow into the physical body and exhale it out. To give and receive in the true nature of what we truly are. Boundaries are so cute when you're building your boundary dream home in the Mattel matrix. And yet, and still, they are illusion. I'm going to give you a little story. So when I was in, or my altar, was at school at Vagina Headquarters, Sarah Lawrence College, where ladies love vaginas, and all art inspired by such and the like. So I was dating a boy, can you believe, yeah, I was dating a boy at Sarah Lawrence, um, where our, fr our fraternity was the acapella group. That was our fraternity. Okay, cuties. And I was also in first year psych. Look out, look out, she's in first year psych. Oh my God, calling mom. Hey mom, like, did you like coddle me? Like, what, as a child? Like, is, do, is that the reason I have like an oral fixation? It's cause like you didn't hug me enough? Like, bitch, like, do you not, 18 year olds armed with Freud is like a dangerous fucking thing. Don't answer the phone. So first year psych, and I was like, the first time I had ever fucking realized how much we don't understand each other, my darlings. And it was also, deeply in it for the first time. I'm gonna say in love, cause we didn't use that word, but I was, I lost my V card. Okay, cuties, and we were, we were totally there. You know you're in love cause you just like cry all the time randomly. So we, me and my boy, we were at this restaurant that gave like free wine to minors. It was a fucking godsend. It was in the East Village, I don't think it exists anymore. You get like cheap Chinese food and then just like drink as much fucking wine as possible. It was free. <laughs> yeah, okay cuties, 18 year old dreamscape. So we're in this restaurant, she's drunk as a fucking kite, deeply like in it, deeply in love, I'll say it. And I started weeping because I was like, we'll never understand each other you don't hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. Like you don't really truly understand like all the basis behind every single thought that I'm having. And like, I, I had always thought like there was that potentiality, right? To truly be on the same sink, on the same wavelength as someone. And I was so sad because I felt so together and so isolated at the very same mo. And this boy, he puts up his hand and he's like, such a Sir Lawrence boy. He's like, you see this? Like, you see your hand, it's all the same. You see the air, you see my, it's all, we're all the same, it's all the same molecules. This is just an illusion that is separate. And I looked at him and I just said, I don't have a fucking clue what you're talking about. Point fucking blank, right? That is the point made right there. I had no idea what this dude was talking about. Had I dropped acid yet? No. No, she had not. Okay, cuties. She had barely smoked marijuana. Okay, of course you couldn't understand what this boy was talking about in this drunk wine club. What was he talking about? He was talking about the fact that it's actually illusion that we're separate. Mm -hmm. So years later, okay, she's lying in bed this morning and I just kept thinking soft focus, like soft focus. And I thought it was like such an original fucking thought. And then I remembered my birth mother, who's like taking up poetry in her retirement. She like stopped trying to use her phone. She was like pen and paper and words. She sent me this like poem, which I didn't fucking understand. I pretended to. It was called so it was called a soft day. And it's about the Irish expression for a rainy day, a soft day. And so all this to be sad, I just, I'm trying to elucidate with so many more words in such a less gooder way than my own birth mother did in her fucking poem, which is the art. She made art out of her words. I'm making, I'm making shit out of mine, right, cuties? Same idea as my mom. And I've been lying in bed all morning thinking of some original thought about the idea of being soft-focused. And then I remember, oh no, my mom sent me a poem 
called a soft day about the idea of letting love in by being in a softer place with your focus. So this, the point being of this whole transmutation, my thesis statement is you are not becoming your mother, but you are your mom. So let yourself sit with that. <laughs> I didn't say this transmutation wouldn't feel a little icky coming in and on the out. As we know, I'm a detox. It's part of it. Feels bad coming in, feels bad going out. But yet your body's going to be so perfect and clear. Cute. That's all she wrote. Thank you for your rapt attention, asked always. And forevermore, be brava. Soften your focus today. Can we go out into nature and allow nature to be us and us to be it? Because the truth is, my darlings, to love and be loved means to allow in and to take as part of ourselves. Maybe that's the nature of the universe. Also, though, like, get some definition for your brand because that's cute. Own it, name it, claim it, patent it, all that shit. That's the Barbie Mattel dream house that we're creating. Matrix, Mattel Matrix. But also, note the reality that we're all one. How cute is that? Okay, bye. I love you so very much. This has been Be Brava Live. Soft focus. Feels like a